video will be a quick guide on registering patients and taking x-rays using JPI software, ExamView DR. The first step is to log in. You can set different account logins on the configuration menu. I'll be using the admin account to log in. Once you're logged in, you'll be on the registration screen. From here, you'll enter your patients that are coming in. First step is to enter the ID. This is the most important piece of information because everything else about the patient is linked to the ID number. It can be any combination of letters and numbers. If you already entered an ID that has been saved before, the program will automatically fill in the information for the patient. Enter the name, sex, and date of birth, which you can select on the calendar or enter it manually. You also have the option to schedule studies for the future and enter a referring physician. Age will be automatically calculated for you. Click Save to finalize the registration process. Study Setup. To create the study, first select the body part and the view that you're planning to do. You can do it one by one with any number of x-rays you're planning to take. You can move them or arrange them accordingly to the order you want to take them. You can also set preset exams, which will be a list of several x-rays you take together regularly, such as spinal exams or accident exams. Once everything is set, click the exam button. At the exam window, you can check the status of the detector connection before taking an x-ray. The radiation symbol will turn yellow once there is a connection to the detector. It may take a few seconds on some detectors to connect. The patient list will have all the patients you have registered but have not been finished taking x-rays on. It will automatically select the first view on the study list so you can take the first x-ray. Position the patient and take the exposure. After the image is acquired, the software will automatically move to the next scheduled x-ray. If you follow the scheduled exam, you will not have to touch anything in the software until the exam is complete. If you want to retake an x-ray, simply select that shot and take a second exposure. It will add another shot to your exam. The old one won't be deleted and no x-rays can be deleted from exam view during an exam, only rejected. To reject an image, click reject. You will have to enter the account password. Finally, enter the rejection reason. You can also accept an image that has been rejected in the past. After you have taken your x-ray, there are several things you can do with it. It can be lightened or darkened by holding down the left mouse button. You can rotate the image, flip it, add left or right markers, and add text annotations. To crop the image, simply select the crop button. Click and drag on the area you're interested in, then double click on the center to crop the image. If you make a mistake on cropping or any other changes you made to the image, you can undo all the changes by right clicking on the image and select image reset. When you're all done with the image and the study, you can close the study by clicking the close study button. If you finish the study and realize you need to add a view you did not expect to add, simply click on the exam button. This will bring you back to the registration window where you can select the body part and view it to add to the current exam. Now you're ready to take the x-ray again. Finally, you should always close the study by clicking the close study button. If you don't, the exam will remain on the exam window and will not be available to review or send to a DICOM destination. This finishes the registration and exam setup demonstration. On a different video, I will show you more in depth the different tools you can use under the review window.